All right, so look who I finally ran into today. We've been searching for him out on the hill. I'm here with DJ Dave. Happy to have you. Sarah, I am happy to be here. I did try to find you guys in Lowrider, and uh, I think you guys zigged when we zagged or something like that, and we missed each other. It happens, but, you know, we both got to enjoy the snow out there today, and what, it, what a day it was. Oh, my God. So much powder. It was amazing. And you recently just got back from your first trip out to uh, Lake Tahoe. Is that right? That is correct. First of all, I want to say welcome to you to Explore Killington because normally Sarah and I work together on Sunday nights at charity, so I never get to see her out with the camera. So first of all, welcome to Explore Killington, uh, my favorite channel anywhere, hands down, period. Uh, but yes, uh, great skiing on the hill today in Killington. You got to love this, kids. It's a great time. There's so much powder. Get here. But yes, Tahoe was a blast. I just came back from there. Uh, Six skiing out there. I've never skied out west, so I went out with my buddy Nutter, Mooner, all those guys that you guys know and love from Killington. And what a great time. I don't think God allows clouds in Tahoe. I think he says no clouds anytime because it was like 50 and, cl and uh, just clear skies every time. But then I get back here and there's fresh powder. I mean, it's the best of both worlds. Yeah, you definitely can't go wrong with that. And hopefully going into spring, we'll have a lot of uh, bluebird days ourselves. Um, now, did you get to experience any of the nightlife while you're out there? I know we've got the lookout, like you said, we get to hang out at charities. We've got the Wobbly Barn. There's so much to do here in Killington. How does that compare to the out west lifestyle? Well, everyone knows I'm not a big night owl, but I did, I did venture out to a couple of the bars. And uh, so there is a, there's a good nightlife uh, in Truckee. There's a lot of, uh, what do you call them, dive bars in uh, Truckee. But, uh, we hit a few of those, Pastimes, Tourist Club is a couple of the good ones out there. And then the base lodge, there are some good base lodges. Uh, Nutter works at uh, one in, uh, in uh, Sugar Bowl, Smay works at one in Cantina at Squaw. So I tried to sample as much as I could of the local fair, which basically was vodka and uh, that new stuff that everyone likes, Fireball. So I tried to do my take out there, and let me tell you, it's a good time out there, but. It's great to be back in Killington because Killington is the best love, most love, and Killington nightlife is number one in the world. Hey folks, how you doing? We're here with Grizzly, the head mountain ambassador and head of the snowboard. How you doing <laughs> Chairman today? of the snowboard. Chairman of the snowboard, <laughs> head of the yes, snowboard. right, 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 right. <laughs> We're having a lot of fun today. Great amount of snow and, and, and the conditions are perfect. Oh my God, it couldn't be better out here today. Yes, yes. So what do we have coming up in the following weeks here at Killington with well, all this great snow? You know, we have uh, Canadian Week coming up next week and the following week after that. We have people coming down from Montreal area, from Perfect. Toronto area the following week. And uh, we get out there with them. We, we do mountain tours with them. The ambassadors help them and show them how to get around, how easy Killington is to get around. Very nice. Now, what exactly is a mountain tour? A mountain tour is a familiarization tour. It's a tour that starts at Snowshed, and we will cover Ramshead, Snowden, Killington Peak, Sky Peak area, Bear Mountain, and all the way down to the Skyship Base. We'll cover about 8 to 13 miles of skiing on beginner terrain. And that familiarizes everybody, whether they're experts, intermediates, or advanced beginners to get around the mountain. Oh, that's fantastic. Give them a taste of everything. Right, and guess what? All they need is a valid lift ticket for the day, and they're all set. Golden. Yes. Perfect. So today, Slato and I were out enjoying this beautiful terrain. Mm -hmm. We skied through a lot of trees up here, Julio, nowhere, somewhere. What are some good safety tips for uh, kids out there you know, who, you know, want to stay safe and if you happen to get separated from your group in those trees? Boy, I'll tell you, the first thing to do before you even venture out into the, uh, into the woods is you want to make a plan. If anybody has a cell phone, make sure that you have each other's numbers. Another oh, thing important. is, when you start and you're sitting at, whether you're sitting at the bar or sitting in the cafeteria, make a plan that if you get separated, you may want to meet up in an hour or two hours at the lodge that you started from or at a different lodge. And then again, you know, just be out there in pairs. It's good to get out there with two people skiing together, making sure that you both make it out. 
Absolutely. I said that to Slato too. I, you know, I love Julio, yeah. but I hate going in there by myself. Yes. But it was a good thing because we did get separated and we managed <laughs> to meet each other at Mahogany Ridge Bar here at the K1. Yep. So that was perfect. We stayed safe and mm -hmm. made it out all together. Yep. And again, if you do get separated, you'll definitely see an ambassador around or ski patrol. You can make mention that you were separated and uh, we'll reunite everybody. Well, wonderful. And Grizzly, now how many years have you been in the ambassador program? Wow. This so uh, Oh boy, oh boy, you're asking an awful lot. I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be at least 17, 18 years. Wow. And running the program for about 15 years. That's fantastic. Yep, yep. So if someone here in Killington or a visitor of Killington wanted to get involved with the program, how would they go about doing that? You know, first they have to fill out an application. They have to find me, which is not always easy because I'm on the mountain. Elusive. <laughs> and then once they, once we get, uh, we get, we meet each other. We'll set up a meeting. When we set the meeting up, we'll talk about their skiing ability. We'll talk about their personality. And usually within the first five minutes, I know how outgoing a person is and how, you know, how well they know the mountain. And then we'll go from there. We might ask them to take a uh, shadow day with us. Yep. Go out, see what, what it's like, see if it's really for them. People think that all we do is ski around. We do more than just skiing around. We do greetings in the morning. We help find uh, and reunite lost people. We also actually help ski patrol open and close the mountain and some of the trails we help the ski patrol with. So there's a lot more involved. There are days where an ambassador can get six runs in or 60 runs in, wow. depending upon what's going on on the mountain that day. Lots of responsibilities for you guys. It is, and uh, these are all volunteers that come in from all walks of life. They come from as far away as uh, right now we have them from uh, Washington, D.C. Wow, yep, yep. wow. And, and we have them from Maine, Massachusetts, Connecticut right now, and New York. So it's a good group of people, plus locals as well. That's fantastic. And of all ages, I've heard. Yes, all ages. And we're always looking for people to help us out in the snowboard terrain parks as well. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Grizzly. And stay tuned for more KTV. Plenty to come.